Not anymore. Reading in the Time Brothers podcast, podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a night light on for that night light is out of Second Corinthians chapter five and verse seventeen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Man, that's encouraging. I was listening to a guy talk the other day, and he gave an illustration that made perfect sense to me about how old things are supposed to pass away and all things are to become new. He said, suppose that I went missing. I was abducted or whatever and went missing, and you are the one responsible for making the posters to find me. And you put on that poster the only photograph that you had, which was a fifth grade picture of me. What are the light, what's the likelihood of you finding me? So imagine that with me. So I'm 60 years old and the only photograph you have to put on the missing poster is a fifth grade picture of Gene Kissinger. You're never going to find me. It won't work because I'm not that person anymore. I don't look like that anymore. I had much more hair. It wasn't gray. I didn't have a beard. I was a little kid. I was had the same kind of chubby face, but that's about the only thing that resembles fifth grade gene to 60 year old gene. There's a sense that when you're born again, old things are passed away and all things are become new. You're a new creature with new features. You need to remember that. God intends there to be a distinct difference between the before and after pictures of you before salvation and after salvation. You need to have new habits. You should have a new lifestyle. You should go to new places. You should even have new friends. You should have a new vocabulary. It should change how you talk. Being a Christian should change everything in your life. It should be so obvious that Christ is in your heart. How obvious should it be? It should be as obvious that Christ is in your heart as it's obvious that a 10-year-old boy lives in your house. They they make their presence known, and Christ will always make his presence known. The statement that I would end on is a phrase, and it says, Satan knows your name but calls you by your sin. God knows your sin but calls you by your name. He identifies you differently and moves you into new realms of behavior and belief as you follow him. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day, and I thank you that I'm not that fifth grader anymore. And I thank you that every year I can grow in my sanctification, and I can become better than I was last year. I'm not competing against anybody else. I'm growing into the image of the fullness of the stature of Christ. I'm growing into conformity to his image. Help me, God, to be just like Jesus. Forgive me for being so much just like me. Help us, God, to have a good night tonight, a night of rest and strength. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.